We call a lever second class when the load and the effort are applied on the same side of the fulcrum or the axis of rotation with the effort being further from the axis. Okay, so the effort has a mechanical advantage because it has more leverage. All right, an example is a wheelbarrow where you can put a pretty heavy load here, but it's close to the wheel and it'll still be easy to tilt up because you're lifting out on the end of the handles. You have more leverage. Now, people have applied the second class lever model to the foot. So the axis of rotation is the ball of the foot. Uh, the load, body weight, is applied down at the ankle. And then Achilles tension, the effort, is pulling up on the heel. Okay? Seems like a second class lever, right? But there's a key thing we have to point out. Your Achilles attaches to your body through the calf muscles, right? So any tension pulling up on the heel is also pulling down on the body, increasing the force applied at the ankle. So if we put in some theoretical distances here, uh, we would say that just to hold yourself up on the ball of your foot, uh, your Achilles tension A times this moment arm, uh, 20 centimeters, would have to equal uh, body weight times its moment arm, 14, plus the Achilles tension applied down at the ankle, which we'll just call 14A. We're, uh, an, we're ignoring all angles just for simplicity, okay? So then we just do a little math. We get 6A equals 14 times body weight. So then A equals 2.33 times body weight. So in the battle against body weight, the Achilles does not have mechanical advantage. In this example, the Achilles force has to be 2.33 times body weight uh, just to maintain equilibrium on the ball of the foot. So another option would be to view the foot as a first class lever where the axis of rotation is between two forces. So the axis of rotation is the ankle, the Achilles is pulling up on this side on the heel, ground reaction force is pushing up uh, at the ball of the foot on this side, okay? So then it's clear that the Achilles has less leverage, so it's at a mechanical disadvantage, okay? And if we were to do the equation, uh, we end up with the same thing. Ground reaction force in an isometric hold is going to be equal to body weight. So it would just simply be Achilles tension times its moment arm, 6, uh, is equal to body weight times its moment arm, 14. So we get our same answer for Achilles force, okay? So the main point is that when you're on the ball of the foot, the Achilles tendon is at a disadvantage in the battle against body weight.